Mr. Kennedy here, your favorite math teacher. And today, I'm coming to you in 3D. You look so real, I could reach out and grab ya. Who's ready to do some mathematics? We've got a great lesson for you today. So put on your thinking caps and you do the math. Show you how geometry and algebra too. Take out your notebook, there's a lot to do. All right, we're going to start with some important vocabulary that's a little more advanced than the undefined terms. So it's a good idea to pause this frame and copy these terms into your notebook. Make sure you really know them well. All right, now let's look at our first theorem. If I start with two lines and I draw a line that's perpendicular to both of them at their point of intersection, that's the blue one, it's also perpendicular to the plane created by the red and yellow line. There it is. So let's examine this a little more closely. I'm going to swoop my mouse into there. And you can see that it's perpendicular to the plane and both of the lines at their point of intersection. So let's write this theorem down into your notebook. Feel free to pause. Hope you like math, because there's plenty more where that came from. Alrighty then, here's our second theorem. If you take a point and a line, there is one and only one plane that goes through the point that's perpendicular to the line. There it is. Let's take a look around. Don't forget to pause the video to write this theorem into your notebook. Give me a three! Give me a D! What does it spell? We're cruising along now. If we start with a plane and a point, there is one and only one line that goes through the point that's perpendicular to the given plane. Let's have a look. You know what to do. Pause and notebook. What's the point of geometry, you say? <laughs> That's my line. It's pretty plain to see the you love geometry. <laughs> you. I love this theorem. It says that if you have a plane and two lines that are perpendicular to the plane, that those two lines are coplanar meaning they lie in the same plane. What do you think? Your handy dandy notebook. I almost forgot dimension how much fun I'm having. Next one. If you're given a plane, and a line perpendicular to the plane, then any plane containing that blue line is perpendicular to the original green plane. Pretty cool, huh? Write it down so you don't feel like a clown. You want to learn some more? <laughs> it's your lucky day! This next one says that if we take the diagram from the last example and we add a line perpendicular to the blue line at the point that it intersects the green plane, then our new line, which is going to be red, and there it is, that lies in the original plane, the green plane. So you can see that it is in the green plane. Write it down or I'll have a frown. There you are, Math. I love you. Mwah.
<laughs> oh man! <laughs> this is a great one. If you start with two parallel planes and you intersect those with any other plane, so it's almost like a transversal, then the intersection is two parallel lines. So there's one line and there's the other. And those are right where that orange plane intersects the two parallel planes. Now remember, for lines to be parallel, they have to be coplanar. So let's just double check that the magenta and blue lines are in fact coplanar. All right, we better write this one down. Hey, this math stuff is not so bad. It's pretty easy, like anybody can do. Last one. If you have a line that's perpendicular to two planes, then the planes are parallel to each other. I think that one makes a lot of sense. Last one to write down. Totally, dude. I love math. After I go surfing, I'm totally going to calculate some Pythagorean theorems. Know what I mean, brah? <laughs> well, friends of math, that's all the time we have for today's three-dimensional episode. I hope you had a blast. Until next time, I'm Mr. Kennedy. May the math be with you.